Hello and welcome to the channel, Salesforce Assembly. My name is Jeremy Call and I'm a 14 time certified director of Salesforce. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add your email signature for all of the email communication that you send out in Salesforce. I'll show you how to add text, links, as well as images into your signature. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So let's go ahead and get started here and go to the top right and click on view profile and you'll click on settings. On the quick find box in this top left, go ahead and search email and you'll see my email settings. Go ahead and click on that and then scroll down to the signature part. So this is where we configure our signature. You can see these first three lines are simply text. So putting text in your signature is really easy. It's what you would normally do. Just type out whatever you want and then you're ready to go. Adding links is a bit more complicated. There are kind of two main links that you're probably interested in having in your signature. And those are links that when clicked on will open up a user's mail um, application and have them be in the to field. So you do that by using what is called an A tag uh, in HTML. And this first part here is saying this is the email address that it should go to. And then the second area here is how the text will show up for that link. Likewise, for the link of a website, this is the actual website that will be in the URL bar. And then this is the text that shows up within my email signature. So that's how you use the A tags. And then you'll probably want to have an image in there. And what you do is you use this image tag where you uh, open this up, IMG. Then you provide the link to the image. And one thing that's really important here about the image that you provide is that it needs to be hosted publicly and it's a best practice to be in a location that you have control over. So let's do that here in our Salesforce instance. So let's go ahead and upload that file and show how we can put that logo or whatever image into your signature. So I'll go over to my app launcher in the top left and type files. Go ahead and click that and then upload your file here. Uh, it will open up your uh, desktop uh, directory where you can select what you're wanting to upload. I'll go ahead and open one of these and upload it. So this top one is the one that I just uploaded. So we wanna make this publicly available. So click on that and you'll click on public link you don't want this to expire, so go ahead and toggle that off, and we're good to go. Let's create this link. It's saying, hey, this is gonna be available uh, externally. Uh, go ahead and create that link, and now we have that available. So that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out, and this is the image that we're wanting here. So the most consistent way that I like to do this is to right click, open image in a new tab, and then click on that other tab and right click on your image and then select copy image address. So this will give us the URL that we need to plug into our signature. So let's go ahead and jump back to our signature configuration. And remember that's up here top right, settings, my email settings, and now that we have that URL on our clipboard, we can go ahead and paste this in between the quotes here in this tag. So I'll go ahead and paste that. And now that will be available in my email signature. So let's go ahead and test this. Your email signature will show up if you send out an email through a case, for example, or to a contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. I'll go to contacts. Let's jump into any old contact here and click on this email button. 
and we can see here I've got my email signature all configured. I've got my links. Um, this one happens to be purple because I already clicked on it and we've got my logo. So that's how you configure your email signature in Salesforce. Additionally, if you want to have some more uh, customization, maybe you want to change the font or the size or the color, what you can do is you can use CSS and you'll need to put that within your HTML tag. I won't show that here in this video, but go ahead and look up a video on how you can use the style parameter within your tag, and that will allow you to add additional uh, formatting. If you do need, uh, a lot of users can get by with just this. So go ahead and implement that. And if you found this video useful, uh, please like and subscribe. And if there's anything else that we can help with, please leave that in the comments and have a great rest of your day.